Hello everyone, welcome to another segment of Balandel Milanga. It's your host here, Unga Umlandel Milanga. Unga Unga Kokobi, follower of the Celestial Orbs, faithful follower of the Celestial Orbs. I want to use the, the wheel as an example again. <coughs> uh, trying to teach, or I want to show it to us that um, what we call uh, African spirituality is actually... It's teaching us uh, metaphysics. Only difference is that uh, the metaphysics of Isindu now is imbued in the cultural uh, in the cultural practices. I wanna I wanna put at rest some uh, preconceived uh, ideas about uh, the state of death and uh, the state um, of living. And so now to go back to the wheel that I used in the last. Uh, video which was called deeper into the war between river time and the spark we had said yesterday it is from this still center Guantu, where all matter spirals out from and reaches full symmetrical form at the where the wheel is rubber and then we further said it is the rubber now where man will come and have a brief moment in materialized form where now in the physical world we said out of this entire wheel what man experiences in the phenomenal world or in the world of uh, effects in the flesh it is only that portion and then when the wheel returns carries on spinning the cycle is doing what it's compressing and radiating at the same time and then that energy will go back to Imatongweni before again Ugutabanga does what? Takes it out of uh, that uh, that state of rest. <coughs> that, that split of polarity now, to take it into astrology teachings, um, that split, the Gemini twins, classical astrology, they will show you the Gemini twins apart from each other and then we are with their arms outstretched towards each other because the principle is that that is where the split happens if you're using the numbering system that is where you put the number three that is the that is uh that aspect of that split or these twin poles doing what splitting and becoming two but the idea or what gets it the split going is found where in the constant in the house of Taurus or the Taurian the Taurian bull the Tor the tool the Mbili the bull that is where it starts but at Gemini that is where it reaches the full fruition of what of the, the separating which reaches still which reaches full symmetrical shape or full symmetrical form in the symbol Virgo or the the harvest or the harvest and so I want to say to us there's this uh, conception of this of uh, of life and death <clears throat> and uh, I think let me read let me let me read a quote because yes this is a group uh, for study so we quote we read um, and so what what uh, the elder here is trying to explain now is that this is what we know of this life any assumptions we can make, any data we can collect, it is of this brief moment. This brief, this is where the invisible, the, the seven visible spectrum happens. It is here on this side, we, it, it's the infrared, and this side, it's the ultraviolet light. It's the world beyond our senses. Can you see how big that wheel is? This is, if we were to say this is 360 degrees of knowledge. This is just i don't even i can't even say it's one degree of knowledge <laughs> that we acquire away in the flesh not that we are downplaying the flesh we are trying to we are trying to um to help us better understand it so i'm going to quickly read we do not yet know that the invisible part of the cycle of all idea is a continuous as the wheel continues the cycle of the apple is the cycle of the apple is light reaching from uh, oof, my eyes sorry let me start the one again 
The cycle of the apple is light reaching from the sun and earth to that positive half of the apple cycle, which we will hold in our hand. The negative half of the cycle is light returning to sun and earth and repetition as another manifestation of the eternal idea of the apple. Same is true of the flame, the tree or any other part of the one whole idea of creation. The flame goes out to our sensing, but it is still is. Likewise, the tree, the forest, the mountain, the planet, the nebulas of the far heavens appear, appear and disappear as surely reappear. Likewise, man appears to disappear and reappear again and again in countless cycles to express eternal life of the spirit in the eternal repetitions of that part of man, a cycle which the body of man can sense. So as, as he's saying it, we are only we are only here, but it's a repetition. You come, choop, you are in the flesh, at birth, growth, mature, decay, maturity first, then decay, and then you return back to it. You return back here, but then the cycle starts again now, and you come back expressed in the flesh as, not in this flesh, but now in a different form. You come back again, and you, in the flesh for that brief moment and and then off you go now this is metaphysical understanding it's a it's a principle of how energy works there's the axiom that says energy can neither be created nor destroyed it can only be transferred and that's what we are trying to say here that energy can only be transferred what did we say we said the still center the stool centering plane that center the stool centering plane that controls these two poles like a rudder would control an aircraft we said that is where the stool center is that is where the idea that is where the potential of the idea comes from that is where matter and um, energy subsist in a preformed potential not yet ordered unconditioned unformed that is where it rests and so that is where life is now follow me carefully this that we are seeing here and so to put it to go even further that still center plane or the that still center plane with all potentiality that still center plane with all potentiality that is where we put the life principle that is why there's this, this, ax this axiom that says uh, we live in a 3D hologram because in anything, everything outside of this, it is a hologram because it is a simulation of idea that is where, that is where, that is here. So the energy that manifests in the body, it's where? It's in that still centering light of mind. And so, in other words, <clears throat> this, the expression of matter or umzimba, is not energy. But it is an, an idea of mind being expressed. Or the, yes, the idea or the desire of mind. It is these twin two poles doing what? In opposite direction to do what? To manifest this. This umzimba, it is not conscious. It does not drive itself. That still center is not the thoughts that happen in your mind. That still center is a way of what is going on in the mind and what the mind is interpreting from the what? From the body. And so what West, Western, Western doctrine now calls the subconscious that is actually the conscious mind. That is consciousness. That is awareness. That is, or the unreality. That is where energy is. This is an expression, or this is a hologram to mirror the what? To mirror the ideas that are in mind. 
And so if life is here, we cannot say this is what? This is life. This is only but a simulation of what is what? Of what is here. Meaning this, we can never say it lives or it dies because it's a simulation. And so, for example, to take it to, to scripture now, where it says, where it says, do not speak to who? To the dead. What is it talking about? It's, scripture is not literal. As I've just explained to you, this can neither be alive nor dead because it is only the spirit that can what? It is only the spirit alone that lives. These are but mirrored qualities of what? These are mirrored qualities of, uh, of mind or of, uh, of spirit. And so everything around us is going through uh, these, uh, these cycles, these cycles. And so just to quote on further here, he says, um, man never dies. He is as continuous as eternity is continuous. Jesus rightly said that man shall not see death, for there is no death to see or to know. Because... It's here. Everything else around us is what? It is a simulation. It is a simulation of the what? Of the idea that is here in the light of mind. And so, man shall see not see, shall not see death, for there is no death to see or to know. Likewise, the body of man does not live, and having never lived, it cannot die. The spirit alone lives. The body but manifests the spirit. That which we think of as life in the spirit of man manifests itself by willing the body to act. Action thus made by the body under the command of its centering soul have no <clears throat> motivative power or intelligence in themselves. They are but machines motivated by an omniscient, omnipotent, intelligent, in, um, intelligence extended to them. These things we do not, okay, I won't go that far. So he's basically saying that the intelligence, the omnipres omnipresence, or the omniscience, it is not where, it is not here. This is, is the actuator of the what? Of the desires of mind. And what carries out the actuation? Electrical pressure. Let me give you an example. I come from a background of uh, aircraft maintenance engineering. And so in an aircraft, in an aircraft, you've got uh, the body. This is that, that oblong, that, that, or is it oblong, that structure. And then in the front there, you've got what is called uh, the cockpit. The cockpit where the pilot sits to, to control the what? The body or umzim. But same with us. And so now I want you to put to to imagine this. The centering light or that still magnetic light is what is the cockpit. Now listen to this example. Follow me very closely. Follow me very closely. Of which it's the same thing which is taught by African spirituality. That energy is what is forever moving. Energy is forever forming. And so some of the arguments we are having when the Bible, for example, says, do not consult the dead. What do we mean by that? Because we've just established now that this can neither live nor die because life is only where? Life is only in that still, in that still magnetic light. This, this is just an expression. It is not conscious because it is a what? It is, a, it is an effect of uh, desire. So in the cockpit, I want you to, yes, put your mind there in the cockpit. That's where the pilot sits and the captain and the, the, and the first officer. Now, I want you, what now, um, in, in today's world, what we would call the, the conscious mind, I want you to place it there. The cockpit is doing what he is, putting electrical inputs into the what? Into the steering wheel or the control wheel, which will, by the, actuators which will necessitate what movement at where at the control units to get either your flaps or your landing gears up or down electricity or sometimes if it's a, if it's a, if it's a hydraulic system like a landing gear 
It's an electrical signal. It used to be cable, but now it's an electrical signal that travels to a PCU, and then a PCU <coughs> will tell the hydraulic system that give me pressure because so that I can do what? I can do this. It is not the landing gear that extends itself and attracts itself. It is what? It is the cockpit sitting in front. Sitting in front, who does what? Who controls the aircraft as according to the inputs that are coming to his senses. The senses being what he's seeing and what he is feeling. The feel in the hand as you are flying. Now, I want you, I want you to make that what they call the conscious mind. And then there's an, a function called autopilot. Autopilot. Basically, autopilot is uh, you can you can plot a route from uh, takeoff so that at a certain uh, altitude, autopi autopilot can be engaged. Now the route in autopilot it is scripted before you take off. You cannot engage autopilot if if the, the if the parameters for autopilot have not been what have not in, have not been put in place now the autopilot system it comes it forms part of the adf or the air air data initial reference system or the systems used to collect that data from uh, the ambient temperature the pressure so that they can tell they can tell the system okay for a, uh, an efficient flight fly at this level or at that level now I want you to put you to put that cluster of computers. Those computers, they are by the way, they are they are normally under under the under the cockpit. There's a hatch that you open to get to, to the bottom to get to those computers. I want you to to make these computers now the subconscious mind. As a rough example. As a rough example. And what I'm trying to say now, if you were to relate it to the body now. This is where we say the computers down there, that is consciousness. There, there is not that there, there is not nothing sub about that. That is awareness. That is where that still magnetic light, that is that is where it comes from. It is there. It is there. It's there. Now, where I'm trying to get to is that now, these computers now that uh, take uh, these uh, <coughs> these vibrations. All these electrical signals that are coming from uh, measurements of uh, the ambient temperature, measurements of uh, altitude, how high we are, the pressure surrounding uh, the aircraft, all those, um, all those senses, or all those readings are sent where they are sent to those uh, computer boxes where under the cockpit and i want to say to you that is what now we would say is what that is where the center of awareness is where i'm trying to get to is that now if it happens that the body of the aircraft umzimba gets to a time when the airframe the airframe and engines have reached a point where they have um an aircraft in service okay let me just go back a bit this was an aircraft from day of manufacture, they will give it hours to say, this aircraft with these engines, you can fly it for so many flight hours. After that, either it needs to go back to the manufacturer and the manufacturer must make additions or modifications that, are, that have not been put in over the years. Or you do what? You scrap it. The body is what? It's scrapped. It's, decomm it's decommissioned. Of which these days now it's always cheaper to decommission than to what to try and uh, keep up with all those uh, maintenance updates and so what happens the body gets destroyed but the boxes the boxes can be taken to another aircraft the box can be taken to another aircraft. this is a very rough example those boxes that I'm trying to say to you, they, they, they form part of the awareness now or the thinking mind that interprets the, the, what, the senses that are coming in from your ailerons, your rudders, your, your control power units and all those systems. You can take those boxes, plug them into another aircraft and then code that box that you are now in this aircraft or you are in this Nzimba. And that is exactly what Isinto is trying to say. That once you've been here, it's a, it's a metaphysical principle. 
it's not literal guys they are they are trying to teach us something as i'm trying to show you here that this is something that is currently what it's being used in the practical sense in the practical sense that you are born but after you've been born in the flesh after you've been in the flesh first and foremost that it is a very short period of time it is a very short period of time that you spend with that you spend in the flesh when compared to the what to the rest of the wheel of your of your expansion and your contraction back to center back to ematomy back to your elders we don't have anyone who's actually crossed over and come back to tell us no guys they live like this or they're not living like this but what i would like to put it across to you is that this is a metaphysical principle that if we are a pillar there will come a time when your body will get deco will, will decommission and then that energy or those computer boxes can do what they can be taken and employed in another registration or the computer box can go and start another formation in this case because that energy now will return what to the source and then it will commence a formation now somewhere else as to where we don't know but that is um, the basic principle and so yes the arguments by the Christians that yeah but our book says uh, we shouldn't consult the dead we shouldn't have to, we shouldn't have anything to do with that that is great because this like I said it neither lives nor dies because it is only a simulation it is only a simulation and so those arguments are based on the wrong understanding of scripture it is not literal there's more to these scriptures than uh, the nitpicking and the Bible thumping that we go around uh, doing. And we should not forget that there's certain additions to these scriptures as well that have been put in place because of white supremacy and coloniality. But fundamentally, fundamentally, what is there is not to be taken literally. It is not to be taken literally, especially when you can see that it is reading like a fairy tale. It is reading like a fairy tale. You can't have in this. You can't have. Um, you can't. You can't have in one case. Uh, the scripture is saying no, don't do this, and then in another case, you are having uh, the king of Israel, for example, Saul, who's doing what? Who's doing that very same thing? It doesn't clearly. There's something that we are we are missing. Clearly, there are some texts which have been what twisted and turned because the enslavers they understand how the system works they understand how the system works there's also this axiom in these schools which says uh just to just to further clarify what i'm trying to say that when more more bigger more bigger your ancestors you cannot say bafili because like i'm saying the light of mind it does what it is life and this is just a, uh, a simulation so if someone says that to you you can just simply say they are, need, they, are not, they are not the body. It is only the body that does what? That does this. But that centering soul, that centering aspect, it has an origin and it returns there for it to re-manifest itself in this cycle, this timeless cycle that keeps going on and on and on and on, inspired, of course, by the what? By the war between the river time and the north thing. I hope I'm making sense to you guys. I really hope I'm making sense because... We need to get to the metaphysical understanding so that we can see the understanding which is mirrored in today's world of, uh, of physics. We need to make that uh, foundation for ourselves. We need to make that foundation for ourselves. So, yes, that's what I wanted to say to us uh, in this hour. So, yeah, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Ungalana.